Welcome back for another video. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me. And in this video, I'm going to show you a new module that is recently released from Ultimate Add-ons. It's that really cool add-on package for the light version of Beaver Builder in the paid version of Beaver Builder. And I really like this new update in this new module that they added. So if you've visited my page right here, this Beaver Builder resources page, and you scroll down, I have this blog grid right here. I'm using their blog post module and to pull in the different posts I have that are Beaver Builder related, you click on it, it takes you over there, et cetera, et cetera. Now what they did is they took that module, they changed the name, now it's called Advanced Posts, which is a lot more appropriate and they, they added a whole bunch of advanced features. Now prior, this was really only working with blog posts, but now it works with any post type on your website. So you can make gorgeous content grids with this new add-on. And the reason I wanted to demo it on my website is because I have some custom post types that I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a custom content grid with this new add-on. Now, let me pull up the Beaver Builder stuff. I'm gonna remove this live preview and I'm gonna add the module right here. So I'm gonna to go to add content and it's right here under advanced posts. There it is. So I'm gonna drag and drop it right here. Now I have a custom post type called courses and it is how I have my whole course and lesson library built for my website and I'm gonna make a custom grid for that. So by default, it's using my posts and there's different uh, uh, ways of making it appear as a carousel, a grid, a feed, or masonry. So I'm going to go to content, and I'm just going to actually scratch the surface on what this can do. Uh, it's just for the sake of showing you really quick. So under post type, you can see now you can choose any custom post type that is on your website, including products. So if you have a WooCommerce store, you probably have this products custom post type right here. So for me, I want to test it out with this courses page right here. Now I have about nine courses and uh, this will go ahead. Let's see, I have the post count to six. Let me change that to nine. Uh, let's play some, let's set some different uh, settings here. I don't want pa pagination because um, uh, I only have nine different courses. I'm going to scroll down. I do want to show the custom post type. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, let's see here. I don't want the post metadata there, so I'm going to disable that by clicking no. And so that should go away right there. And I probably don't want this read more there either. So I think that's in the link and I can actually disable that. I, I just want people to click on the image or click right there on one of the titles. And so for the style, I like how everything's lining up per, uh, perfectly. For the style, I'd probably want less padding here. If I go to style, let's see, it might be here, content padding. Uh, let's see, that's probably not it. Actually, that is it. Let's go if I, let's see. Okay, here we go. So I can adjust the padding from the top right, bottom, or left from where the content is. So for the top, I will leave that the way it is. The left and right is fine, but on the bottom, I think I might want 15. Let's see if that pushes it down a little bit. It looks like there's none there right now. And um, oh, there it is. Actually, that looks almost uh, perfect right there. So then I'd probably want to change this background color. And so here's where I can do that. And I probably just remove the color and leave it white so it kind of blends into what I'm doing there and that's pretty much it uh, for what I would do to this uh, content grid let's see it looks like I have to choose white so let me just do that and it should change this brown here to white and it looks like there's a little bit of a shadow that I'd probably want to get rid of as well uh, let's see the box shadow is right here so I'm gonna say no and it should get rid of that little shadow. I wonder if there's shadow options. It doesn't look like there's options with the shadow. So uh, there you go. And that's probably exactly how I would want it to look. You can change your topography. 
Uh, this would be the different font sizes, and then there's some advanced options. Um, I'll be daring. I, let's see. wonder what this would look like if I did a carousel. And this is probably going to eliminate all those settings I just did. I just wanted to go through some of these settings, but let's see what this does. I very well might not like it. Oh, that's actually not bad. It takes up less space. And I wonder if it will auto advance. There it is, auto play scroll. So if I clicked on yes, and the speed, let's see, 1000 milliseconds. Hmm. Okay, that's actually not bad. It's going a little too fast for my taste. So I'd probably do maybe uh, 6000 milliseconds. That's gonna be about six seconds. And let's see what that's gonna look like. And then I have my arrows enabled and I can change the different arrow styles. I actually really like this to take my custom post types and to display it in a carousel like this. So let's just see, square background. I'm not gonna play around with the different arrows, but you get the point. So if I click on save and then I'm gonna click on live preview just to get an idea of what it's going to look like. Okay, so now I'm in live preview mode, and there it is. I might, you know, I guess it's okay to have the arrows. I might probably make uh, the background of the arrows the same color as the background here, and maybe make that arrow a bit larger. But I like this, and it's perfect for uh, you to display your content, but not yet have it take up so much space. So I could add this to a post and say, uh, take a look at some of my courses or something like that and I really like the way it's smoothly scrolling so anyways this is uh, actually let me just one more thing show you on their website I don't know if they updated it but there's a bunch of different examples here uh, but on the website they're still calling it a blog post like that uh, but there's different uh, setting styles that are available for you here's a Mansonry layout so uh, anyways this has been the now Old, the old blog post module, now it's called Advanced Post, and you can make advanced custom content grids with any custom post type that is on your website, and you can do some really neat stuff like you just saw me create with it. And if you don't have Ultimate Add-ons or Beaver Builder for that matter, I have links in the description down below. And I also have, if you're watching this on my website, I have links in the post where you are watching it. If you do purchase it, it's an affiliate link. They give me a nice little reward. And uh, if you do purchase this, and if you forward the receipt to me, I'll verify your purchase. And I'd like to give you access to a course that I sell for $47 called Beaver Builder Essentials. And that will be just my way of saying thank you for purchasing either of these products through one of the links on my website. Hey, before you go, I have something for you. And before I get into that, I wanted to ask you to do something for me. If you could give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button right beneath me. If you have a question on this video, I'd be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment or a question down below this video. Hey, I put together a course just for you and I'm gonna give it to you for free. All you have to do is click on the button right here on the right. It's called the three steps to WordPress success. It's an awesome course. You're gonna love it. I would love for you to join in and enroll as a student in this course. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I do it just for you.